I will not begin the air brake test. My wheel is already chalked, and before I uh, start the air brake test, I will begin with a safe start, which means that before I turn on the engine, I turn on the accessories and wait for the ABS light to disappear. That way my gauges recalibrate. So that's what I do right now. I turn on the accessories. There's the ABS light. Now it came out, so I know that it's safe to turn on the engine. That was my safe start. Now I look at the air pressure gauges. There are two of them, one for the front tank and one for the rear tank. And I wait for the, the air pressure will build up and I wait for the air pressure to reach approximately 120 PSI. At that point, we will hear the governor cut a burst of air. Okay, we're good. That's what we just heard. Now, I will do four things. First, I will turn off the engine. Second, I turn on the accessories. Third, I apply the service brake and hold it with my foot. And fourth, I release the parking brake by pushing the yellow knob over here. And then when the needles of my air pressure gauge stabilize, I look for an initial drop of no more than 15 PSI. Then after that, I ask, I ask the examiner to check my time for one minute because the additional drop should be no more than three PSI per minute. So when the uh, examiner tells me that it has been a minute, I confirm that the extra drop was no more than three PSI per minute. Now what I will do, I will fan off the service brake with my foot that will make the air pressure decrease. And before the air pressure reaches 55 PSI, we will see lamps over here or lights on the dashboard. We will see a message on the dashboard and we will hear a buzzer. And I will indicate that the uh, pressure is at a dangerously low level. Make sure that the two lights are on. Okay, now what I will do, I will keep fanning, up, fanning off the service brake with my foot. And when the air pressure reaches approximately 40 PSI, the yellow knob, of my parking brake will pop out like a spring. At that point, the parking brake will be engaged. And this completes my air brake test. But now what I will do next, I will turn on the engine. And I let the air pressure build back up. And before, after the air pressure reaches 55 PSI, the lights and the message and the buzzer all will disappear. This is it. Now I will wait for the air pressure to reach approximately 120 PSI. And at that point, we will hear the governor cut a burst of air again. 
But meanwhile, it's gonna take her a while. So meanwhile, normally what I would do, I would go outside, unchuck my wheel, and come right back over here to take a seat, put my seat belt back on. If I am, you know, being tested by an examiner, it looks better. Here we go and now I will just check my uh, service brake so I will apply my service brake with my foot put the transmission into drive release the parking brake let the vehicle roll slowly no more than five miles per hour and then apply the service brake again to confirm that my the bus is not moving the bus is not hanging from side to side so the service brake works properly now we'll check the parking brake so i will leave the transmission into drive i apply the parking brake by pulling on the yellow knob i press the accelerator with my foot and the bus is still not moving that means that the uh, parking brake works properly and at this point I, I will ask the examiner if he or she would please help me check my lights that's it